الله سبحانه وتعالى with you. Uh, today uh, we are going to talk about uh, the second part of um, modeling and simulation of uh, multi-effect distillation all in one uh, uh, model. Uh, it's about four uh, types or config configurations of uh, multi-effect distillation. Uh, okay, you have to go to your destination folder. Okay and double clicking on your model or drag and drop okay okay your model should be appear like this okay uh, 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 previously we uh, tried to uh, uh, control all types of uh, med or or uh, multi-effect distillation desalination processes uh, we try to uh, configure all of, of four types uh, in, in one uh, model. So we, uh, uh, in part one, uh, as I think, we try to uh, unify our inputs and using this is our uh, these are our inputs, and we should we should select between uh, four types: uh, backward feed configuration. Okay, backward feed. Okay, and this is forward feed configuration, and this is forward feed with uh, uh, feed heaters, and this is uh, uh, the most uh, reliable uh, type, a uh, parallel feed configuration. Okay. So uh, after we finished in this model, we are trying to ext uh, to extract our data. Okay. Let's go here and see what we can do about this. First of all, we have to go to your uh, model browser. I check all of this. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Model browser. Okay, and check all of this. Okay. So uh first of all you have to double click here okay this is our specification menu you can uh input your uh input your uh, the operating conditions okay uh what we have here we have operating conditions such as ambient temperature sea water temperature to uh, top steam temperature and uh, brain blow down okay uh, this is last last stage or last effect uh, uh, blow down temperature okay sea water salinity and uh, brine blow down salinity okay and we have here uh, productivity we can uh, uh, select our productivity range uh, number of effect number of feed heaters in case of uh, using uh, third type uh, MED forward feed with feed heater and we have uh, we can use backing uh, some uh, design aspects such as vapor velocity, packing density, uh, diameter and so on and we have uh, end condenser because we have end condenser unit we have end condenser effectiveness I will keep these parameters okay uh, blue down uh, bumps efficiencies uh, okay I'll keep all of these let's go and select uh, uh, trying to run our model uh, uh, type by type okay okay I, I will i will just try to change uh, top steep temperature and brain blow down temperature maybe productivity okay i will go for uh, four effects and three uh, for, uh, feed heaters. Uh, feed heaters should be less than one of uh, of number of effects. Okay, so uh, I will try to change uh, these uh, important parameters and see um, uh, our effects. Okay, and let's go for. Uh, you have to don't forget to check or double clicking on your stream and send it to uh, data inspector and set your simulation time into infinity or, or whatever you, you would like as you can see here this is example of uh, backward field we have uh, inputs 
and we have thermoeconomic uh, block it's for exegetic analysis and costs and we have here uh, this is med uh, profiles this uh, mass of flow rate of the steam just a profile prime profile salinity and we have three bumps feed district brine and we have here uh, in the condenser unit it's um, huge and a little bit complicated okay but first of all let's go and try to run out simulation time hit saving and go on here okay uh, let's hit run and see I'm sorry, this is uh... okay. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I have to hit apply here. Okay, uh, let's go and hit run. Okay, I'm trying to change as you can see here. This is uh, our results effect by effect. Okay, and I will try to decrease. Uh, 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 Brian blew down temperature okay as you can see he's changing in uh, results okay salient profile Brian blew down okay down to 35 okay okay and decreasing steam uh, temperature I'm sorry I have to check here steam temperature down to 68 for example just one example okay and uh, okay let's stop okay let's go for this is for backward fear you will not find anything in uh, other types okay as you can see here because we checked uh, backward fear let's go here in uh, that inspector and trying to extract some of course if you would like to uh, make a changes for at once at the same time uh, you have to use a signal builder you will find this in uh, in photovoltaic vertical wind turbine model um, how to use signal builder okay this is my uh, cooling uh, flow rate and uh, and we have here uh, total feed flow rate uh, area this is a uh, total effect area area profile okay total irreversibility uh, steam mass flow rate and this is gain ratio okay uh, total bumps work or power i think we have to format this from uh, one thousand up to okay and we have uh, 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 I think this is okay enough for this okay okay let's go back again suppose I okay let's go back again and trying to compare I, 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 I'll choose a forward feed forward feed configuration okay I'm sorry use this forward feed configuration and going inside to the forward feed and let's hit run again and compare our results okay uh, i will compare our results let's increasing the brain i'll try to increase brain blew down temperature okay as you can see we may realize this in uh, last last effect before entering the, the end condenser up to uh, 40 degrees Celsius and trying to increase the steam flow rate up to uh, 70 degrees Celsius okay let's go up up again okay 71 okay 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 that's enough for now stop this is forward feed let's compare again okay uh, let's go here and for uh, this is uh, back yes cooling water for okay this is decreasing of uh, uh, and backward feed and this is decreasing on uh, in forward feed heater uh, and feed total total mass flow rate area of uh, the condenser 
uh, irreversibility in MED and we have a mass of steam as you can see realizing the changes in mass of steam and gear ratio there's a deviation between uh, a total uh, atomic power okay let's hit it on again for another model let's hit it on again for uh, let's let it be uh, i'm going to choose a, a parallel feed configuration hit apply and i'm sorry okay a parallel feed configuration let's hit run and see our results i'm sorry i have to go here i'm double clicking uh, let's decrease again uh, uh, a brine blow down temperature as the last effect down to 35 decreasing steam uh, flow rate down to 60 68 whatever and you, you can use signal builder in order to change all operating parameters at once uh, it might be very interested uh, you can uh, increase uh, productivity suppose I'm going for productivity 5,000 5,000 6,000 meter cube per day okay and let uh, let's it stop again and you can see here so you can compare runs compare results it's uh, up to you okay and we are talking about here uh, backward feed okay backward feed and okay and uh, area of the condenser reversibility rate and uh, mass of steam okay and gear ratio uh, total bombing power uh, sure you can go outside here in uh, your workspace and you can realize this is uh, area profile you can this is area profile for four effects as you can see here brine blue down profile for uh, four effects okay so you can uh, this you can uh, right uh draw brine profile versus area okay as you can see here this is area and the effect of brine uh, mass flow rate you can draw it easily and you can draw district productivity versus area profile as well uh -huh. and we have here uh, a pressure uh, salinity profile versus a brine uh, profile so you have many options uh, or you can double clicking here and you can extract your outputs for four effects okay this is evaporation temperature okay this is effect of evaporation temperature on area okay as you can see and you can draw multiple uh, multiple uh, multiple uh, figures I'm sorry I have to remove this one and this one the brand profile and um, or uh, temperature versus uh, this profile and brand profile temperatures these are temperatures as you can see here okay uh, uh, it's up to you to to choose your method of uh, data extraction you can do it uh, easily by using data inspector by using workspace uh, outputs uh, or going here inside and I'm sorry I have to use this you can go inside here and uh, you can use signal uh, signal builder from here uh, as a source signal builder and we can uh, uh, okay we can use this block as one block for all inputs and we can assign these inputs as a signal okay we can add uh, more uh, many many signals you can add more uh, i'm sorry uh, you can add suppose you have five inputs or, or, or ten inputs 
uh, inputs for uh, temperature, input, input for uh, salinity, input for uh, the brine below down temperature, and so on. We can use all of these as one input in order to uh, compare uh, within a specific or a specified time limit uh, for uh, your run. Finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our models. Don't forget to uh, like, uh, share, and subscribe. Uh, th thank you very much.